Horizon Zero Dawn is one of the most beautiful and technically impressive games of the previous generation of consoles. But what if we played it in 72p? Well, that's what we're here to find out today. If you didn't see, there was a tweet that went moderately viral about a week and a half, two weeks ago of someone playing Horizon Zero Dawn on PC, the PC port of this game, in 72p. There's a little bit of technicalities to that, but for the most part, because for some reason, all the news sites picked this up. Like, I don't know if it was a slow week in gaming or what, but a lot of the news sites picked this up and covered this tweet for whatever reason. And so today we're gonna check out Horizon Zero Dawn on the PC in 72p. Let's dive in. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna show you guys how to actually accomplish this look if this is something you want to do. And if you're just here to see the spectacle of Horizon Zero Dawn running at 72p, you can just click ahead to jump past this to the time that I'm showing on the screen right now. Now, I do wanna give a disclaimer because when you do actually go in to do this, NVIDIA's control panel will actually tell you do this at your own risk because you could break your monitor. So I wanna give you that same disclaimer. If you, if you Truthfully, if you wanna just see it, you can just watch this video right now because that's what it's for anyway. But still to show you guys, I'm personally running an NVIDIA setup. If you're running an AMD setup, you can try, you know, probably mirroring this. Or of course, you can look at it. I'm sorry, I don't have one on hand, so I can't personally show y'all. So what we're going to do is actually come into the NVIDIA control panel. We are right now running in 4K at 120 hertz. I have an RTX 3090 powering all of this. And of course, I will show you guys some gameplay at 4K because we have it. So why not? So we're going to do this, but I'm going to actually create my own custom resolution. As you can see here, it does give us a warning. The software utility you're about to enable may potentially cause damage to your display and void warranties. <clears throat> Except. <laughs> so how we want to accomplish this look today, we want to put in 256 by 144. Now the refresh rate, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at 120. Um, it probably won't matter too much. And we'll skip ahead from this because you guys don't want to see me testing this. Okay, so we now have added our custom resolution of 256 by 144. So that's technically only 144p, but I'll show you guys how they got to that 72p that all these articles was talking about when we hop in game. Most of you probably already know, but I'll show you regardless. Anyway, so let's hit OK on this. And then as you can see, we can't see it yet. But if you scroll all the way to the top, it is now under your custom resolution and your game can actually see this resolution now and allow this to be selectable. Because if you don't do this, more than likely the lowest selectable resolution you can go to is like 480p, give or take. More than likely, it's going to be the lowest you could go unless you add this custom resolution in. But with that said, let's actually hop in game. So now we're actually in game and this game is beautiful. If you haven't seen the PC port of this, super impressive 4K. 60 fps we are of course running this on an rtx 3090 and it looks great so i do want to show you that for a second because i feel like it just deserves it and then on top of that we are running this at the max settings it's technically the ultimate quality but the only thing is i i've actually turned off I, no 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 i don't want to apply this i've turned off motion blur that's it i'm not like totally against motion blur but i do think in this situation where you're running 60 plus fps you don't need it but in some cases it does help especially on consoles when you're limited to 30 fps there are times when motion blur can look good and help with uh just make things look better but here is horizon zero dawn running natively in 4k on a pc using an rtx 3090 a smooth 60 plus frames per second this game did launch with some minor hiccups I, well, let's not say minor there were some decent hiccups i personally experienced several crashes um i personally had some definitely major frame dips but they've patched it. I believe we're on either 1.09 or 1.10 right now. And it's, I spent about three hours playing it, zero, zero crashes and hardly ever any frame drops. It's always stayed above a 60 FPS, beautifully smooth. It's been, it's been great, great experience. And as you can see, it really truly is a beautiful, beautiful game, but we're not here for that. We're here to actually take a look what this game looks like in 72p but i thought it'd be fun to kind of sort of go through the the years here and do that first so let's go into settings okay so i did change my mind we're gonna see it on the ps4 as well because actually on ps4 this game rendered at 1080p so i'm not sure how well youtube with this compression it does kind of suck so i'm not sure how much of a difference right now you're seeing between the 4k version of this and the 1080 version hopefully a little bit i know obviously right now in front of me i can tell a decent amount of difference because uh, for the people that still say there's not a difference between 4k and 1080 i, I just don't think you, you just haven't seen it in the right light yet i think it's maybe what it is so anyways there you go that's how this game technically looked when it launched on the ps4 almost four years ago 
Okay, so here's what it would look like on a PS3, give or take. This is in 720. A lot of games in the PS3 era were in 720. I know if you're like, I saw a lot of games at 1080p. Most of them were actually being rendered in 720 and upscaled to 1080. A lot of those games that you played back in the day, not, not saying all of them, not saying all, but a lot you were probably playing in a native of 720. And maybe in some cases, if they were super demanding, even less than that. So here you go. This is what Horizon would have looked like had we played it back in the PS3 360 era. And uh, honestly, this looks pretty spot on as to what a lot of open world games looked like back then. And if you for some reason are thinking they looked better, you might load them up because uh, you're probably remembering just a little bit wrong. This would be a PS2. So this is us playing on the PS2's resolution, which was 480p. No matter how you did it, progressive, interlaced, if you played a PS2, it was in 480p. Now, obviously, there's some aspects because the, the spec of this is still set on ultimate quality. So like these God rays, some of these shadows, like some of the foliage probably didn't look this good on a lot of PS2 games then. But for the most part, this is doing a really good job of emulating what Horizon would have looked like on a PlayStation 2 if that were actually possible. And then to get that PS1 look, the PS1, I pulled this up to be completely and totally accurate. If you ran in progressive was in 240p. So it was the image you were seeing was 640 by 240. If you ran in interlaced, you were seeing 640 by 480. So to get the look of a PS1, we're actually gonna go down to a render scale of 50%. This is not 100% accurate, but a very good emulation of what PS1 Horizon would have looked like. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. That actually is fair. I feel like that is fairly spot on of a lot of PS1 games. Almost no anti-aliasing. <laughs> Again, technically the lighting is, you know, a little better. And this is 100% playable. And honestly, I know we're all here for the 72P, but this is probably about as, as good as it's gonna get as far as being really playable and still really enjoyable and like i can still read the text like a seeker at the gates test the override device on a machine am i at an eye exam right now hang on hang on hang on yes i can read the bottom line override a strider there you go and the big moment so first off i want to see what this looks like in 144p let's just all right 144p this is this is essentially the equivalent of playing a game boy so here we go so game boy's screen resolution was 160 by 144. So this is about as good as you're going to get a modern day, not in four by three aspect ratio, um, pixels, being able to see what kind of resolution a Game Boy had. So this is Game Boy resolution. Now, of course, the thing that went viral was 72p. And the way they acquired that was doing the same thing which did for the PS1. So this is running 144, all that. But if we go into the actual settings, which I can barely read, but luckily I have memorized. If we go right down here, go do our render scale and set that to 50%. This is how the original person that went viral with this was able to do this. Boom. <laughs> this is Horizon Zero Dawn in the uh, famed 72p resolution. And uh, it really, it's, it's playable, but it's not. I think if someone created a mod that allowed us to see the UI still in a very like legible resolution, not even have to be like 4K, 1080 or any of that, because even in 480, we were still able to read it. I think it'd be possible. But right now, you just, oh, that's, that does, that does some weird stuff. Yeah. Going into your menu does some weird stuff. What is the button to, to craft? Is it this? It is this. It's X. Okay. Yeah. That, cause there is a blur when you do that. There is a blur to the rest of it. So that is very interesting. All right, cool. But it, you could, you could still manage this to an extent. You could still manage this, but I think the, the best in between setting if you're trying to get like a nostalgia feel to play horizon zero dawn not in its sort of beautiful meant to be played setting i think it's the 480p but yes i get why this went viral because this does look really cool and there's something great about it the fact that it it's not crashing like i'm moving around to different areas i was able to pull up a menu let's see what water looks like you know like yeah i mean again you you could i could this game is about 30 hours if you just streamline the story and you can easily sink 50 to 100 hours in this game i don't know that you'd want to play this game for that long because it, it i think it would maybe start hurting your eyes so uh <clears throat> let's go back to 480. uh dude even the startup or i had to restart my game and even the startup <laughs> it gives it that old vibe right now that's dope all right i'm back up this is back in 480 ps2 era if you will 
And uh, yeah, I think this is truly the best way to experience this if you're trying to get some nostalgia. I know there's some people though, I saw when this is going viral, was like people are wanting to do this with their super high powerful rigs and here I am having to play it actually like this. But if you do want to experience Horizon, it is on PC. You can have some fun with it, play it in 480. You, you can play it if you want in, in that 72p. I think it's going to hurt your eyes after a while, but I think if I'm going to try to have a nostalgia trip and play Horizon in a uh, like sub-level resolution, I think this is the one. I think PS2 era for me, plus PS2 era is... For my, me personally, my favorite anyway. So it is what it is. Anyways, y'all, that's the video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Go down there, hit that like button. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. But that has been Horizon Zero Dawn in 72p and having a little bit of fun with it and going through the different generations of games to take a look and see what Horizon would look like being played on those systems. Have a great, great day. Keep on keeping on. Tyler signing off and I'll see you all in the next video.